Here we'd like to demonstrate the auto feature of machining this contour as a finished shape. Uh, let's surmise that this is a boss that sticks up in the part and you want to make a finish cut along the contour of this part uh, utilizing the sketch pad. What we need to do in the sketch pad is to find the start point and the end point and designate that. And the software will automatically connect the contour together to create a toolpath that will machine the complete contour. So I'm going to click on the elements in the element list to find the starting point. And this is the starting point. The circle indicates the start point and the direction that the cutter will move. If this is correct, I can just select this as my start point. If I want to change the direction, I can use the element edit function in Sketchpad to change the direction of this element. I'm going to set this element as my start point, and then I can select any of the elements along the contour as my end point. I'm going to select this ending element so that I can complete the contour. I'm going to select this as my stop point, and then I can pull up the conversational milling menu. In the conversational menu, I can input the cutting parameters, which is my depth of cut, my feed rates, and I can designate a clearance plane, the top surface of the part, the coordinate of the bottom surface of the part, and a coordinate of a clearance plane that's closer to the part. My tooling information and offset information, I simply select that I want to use cutter compensation and give it an offset number, and then I can select my approach direction. Once everything is selected, create program, the sketchpad will automatically go through, connect the contour together, take depths of cut, and automatically create the G-code program.